Hello and welcome back to Evil Bank Manager. This is a game that I played a little over a year ago when it first hit Steam. And, uh, well, it's time to take another look at the thing. This has been developed by Hamsters Gaming, who is sponsoring the video. Thank you very much, Hamsters Gaming. Uh, the idea here, this is uh, set in the Renaissance. We are uh, kind of like Grand Strategy style. But instead of playing one of the nations of the world, uh, the whole world here, well, most of the world, uh, we are actually kind of behind the scenes. We're controlling one of the banks and using our banking power, our real estate, our businesses that we own, and our money to help fund wars and and persuade nations to go to war so we can make more cash and uh, and grow even bigger. So anyway, let's try this thing out and see what uh, what all the new stuff is in the game. So as we begin, we kind of choose a uh, we choose a a. a beginning stat, essentially. We've got several different nations here. We don't have to start in these nations, uh, but they each give us different perks. So if we choose England, we get cheaper branches in England, and we also get uh, opening in new countries cost less. If we do France, then it's uh, we get more influence points. They all sort of have a, have a thing. Um, if we do militaristic, we can go with China, and we get um, troop growth is faster, which I'm going to try that one. I'm going to try a militaristic point uh, of view with this one, point of view. Point of gameplay, I suppose. We'll go medium difficulty. Let's see what we can do. So we're gonna come around. We got a, a big world map, Renaissance era. I think it's like 15 something, and um, we will uh, go choose in my bank. My bank is named the uh, the Bank of Nook. Is my name. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's go. Oh, interesting. I haven't chosen China before, and I have a Chinese look to my look at that. Uh, all right, let's go back to the map. All right, so we have to choose a place to put to call home. We have uh, well, we have mostly a world map here, and um, we got to choose where we want to start. We can start pretty much anywhere. Any of these spots could be a, our home. Um, if we, for instance, begin in China, essentially all of China is is uh, our or, or Min. You know, all all of these regions we can benefit from. So early on, we kind of have to start with something small because we only have fifty grand, and you can see. Places are very expensive. We can start in Kashmir for twenty-seven thousand. Uh, we can start in uh, in Turkey for a lot of money. Um, Whatever else, eyeballing though, we can go either. Well, ideally, I suppose we could go with China because of the uh, the perk. But Brittany's pretty cheap. Ireland's cheap. I think last time I played this, I played as Scotland, which is too much. But I think you know what? Maybe we'll try as Ireland. Our goal is to conquer the British Isles, and of course the rest of Ireland here. I think that seems like an like an idea. I was I was tempted to do Brittany and then go to war and take France, uh, or encourage Brittany to go to war. Uh, we're gonna take Western Island here. It's gonna be our beginning. So we're gonna spend twenty seven grand. There's furs here. Uh, yeah, let's go and open that thing up. There's only a limited amount of available investments in each place, so we can only grow so far if we stick with this place. Uh, but we now have a bank in Western Ireland, in the style of <laughs> of the East. Now. Um, Basically, we've got a headquarters. We've got, uh, yeah, hire some employees. We'll hire some employees. We can invest in different lands in the nation. We can hire some guards, you know, the, the thugs that go out and break people's legs that don't pay up or steal their property. Um, we got luxury. Oh, we'll see all this. Let me go in here and hire some folks. We need some folks to run our investment credits, espionage, and maybe guards um, district uh, branch, I suppose. So let's go find ourselves an amateur investor. This guy's a one. It's terrible. We want, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Not what it meant. He'll actually make a good guard. So we're going to put him in guard. The G is the number for that. So he's a decent guard. Uh, let's go find someone that has better numbers. Five's okay. I'll hire you. He's going to be my investment man. Uh, this is my loan man. Which uh, we can do better than... I keep on doing that. I guess four is going to be it. Wrong button. Uh, and then espionage. We'll go ahead and grab one of those. We, we don't want to. We'll keep on searching find new people. Five is fine. So we'll pop you in there, Ronald, to go and run that department. So this will give me perks and, and bonuses because of their, my, my leaders, essentially. Um, now, within the game, we've got first turn, we can't really do much. But as time goes on, we'll be able to go in and we'll invest in some new properties that are in the region. This is why we want to grow our region. Uh, we'll have, uh, we can we can eventually maybe get some, like, logging farms and start making weapons. Once we have weapons, we can, we can help out our country or any country to uh, give them some cash to help in the wars. Um, there's a new science thing in here, which wasn't here before, which we can put points into. We have a guy running this department now. We can go and get some points per turn. We can say, let's go... This is actually a giant tech tree. It's 
yeah, it's giant tech tree. And I guess from what I understand, it goes right now. We can only make like longbows, crossbows, that kind of thing. I guess it goes into making like muskets and and knights and all kinds of new stuff once you get into the game a bit more. But we're gonna take first steps. Gives us a bonus hundred influence. And uh, you may be wondering why would we use influence? What's the point of that? Well, uh, we use influence to influence our country to do what we want them to do. Uh, I'm not sure we can do anything with it right now, but I believe we can go. Um, I think. Remember where I'm at here. Um, I don't think we can do anything with it just yet. The next turn, nothing really happens the first turn. So let's go ahead and pass the turn. We got 20 grand, grand left still. Next turn, now things will start turning. You can see it's now spring. The trees have leaves on them. Uh, we want to go invest in some property. So we got a property spot up here. In this region of, of Ireland, we have a cottage, which is for sale, which is a very expensive cottage. <laughs> 12 grand. Uh, well, we, got, we can buy it for 10 grand. Buy a cottage. Basically, it gives us taxes. And yeah, we'll buy it. It's expensive, but we'll buy it. And we now have an investment in real estate. Our very first investment. It's very exciting. It's giving me 822 bucks per turn in taxes by owning this. This is like a neighborhood, I guess, what we're owning. Uh, we can see there's industry and agriculture we can pick up later on. And some luxury goods. Also, we can buy and sell those things. But once per turn, you can buy something. Which that is in Ireland, we've got. And we can also check and see if Ireland wants to loan us any money. Or if, we, if they if they need our help in any way. So we can... we can uh, They're asking for an investment. We can give them 800 bucks. We'll get a 7% profit per turn. Uh, I think it means it for two turns. And there's a chance they will default. If they do default, then we get probably something very cheap. Because they're like, hey, we can't pay, have a farm. So we will issue that loan and um, make a little cash on that. There are no wars going on at the moment, but the, the landscape will completely change in time. And we can we can do our part to be a part of that. We don't have to stick with just Ireland. We can go in anywhere, really, and, and invest in a war if we want to encourage something to happen. Really, the ultimate goal here is, uh, I think it's over here. We are, uh, here's our value. We are a value of 21 grand, which is 21st place of 21. So we want to go first place. And I think the ultimate goal actually is to be found the, um, uh, what do we find? The federal bank, banking system or something like that and be charged of that or something. I actually don't know what the, uh, the ultimate goal is, some, something along the lines of that. Um, we, um, we're getting this thing, I guess, in two turns. We'll have this first step done. Um, and I think that's all we can really do this turn. Um, I do believe. Let's see. Um, diplomacy. I think um, each country, each region has different uh, numbers here, and so the different, the better the numbers, the more uh, productive they are, or whatever they may be. You see, max investments, um, and how they feel towards us, of course. Um, like Eastern, or uh, um, this is Eastern Ireland. You can see there's their numbers there. They got max, max, max investment. So hopefully we're going to go to war with them. Um, that's our main goal. And uh, that's what we want. Let me go over here and we can buy and sell stuff if we have things to buy and sell, which we don't uh, just yet. Um, Federal Reserve System. That's the name I was looking for. Um, I think that's all we can really do here. So let's go ahead and what's, what's all this over here? Oh, hired employee, you got 500 bucks. Thanks. Thanks, game. Uh, we can upgrade our headquarters, I guess, if we wanted to. This way, we can go ahead and upgrade the thing. Um, oh, I need two regions for this? Okay, we won't do that just yet, then. All right, next turn. All right, investment property. We have investment property. Chance. What do we have over here this time? We have a, a farm. So we can buy a farm for five grand. It'll give us grain. We can take that grain and sell it and make some cash. Sure, I'll do that. Now, it's summertime. It'll only, you know, work so often. But, um... It's there. There's our farm. We can sell it if we want. Maybe it'll just go up in value and we can just sell the thing. This thing's making me 8.58 per turn at the moment, since I guess times are good. Uh, by the way, all these buttons that are up here are also down here. So the UI is a little wonky, but I guess if you, you can choose whichever one you want to mess with. Uh, no loans out there. This one is still um, out there. We're waiting for it to come back, which I think we got one more turn before it returns. And I believe there's no wars. We're in good shape here. Um, yeah, next turn. Okay, we researched our research. So let's move on to something else. We can go into resistance is futile. So it's 500 work per turn, which is going to be important once we get like farms and, and industry up and running. Um, each open region produces 150 gold per turn. That's just free money. Hmm. Uh, it's 100 fear per turn in case somebody um, 
doesn't pay up. That's what we deal with that. Reduce the manager's salaries by a bit. I'm selling a, on the market ruby. Uh, you get an additional profit of 10%. We'll do the fear one. Okay. Another points? Points! Okay. Um, let's see. Do they pay up their loan, I guess? Um, here's our espionage. I haven't messed with this yet. We should do this. Um, so, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get Ireland to like us more. So we can have meetings with them and sort of gather uh, um, relations with them so that we can eventually get to the point where we can force them to go to war once we start getting weapons coming in. Um, we can also tell them to just auto auto do things um, so we don't have to put those buttons. So we'll let the, the game just handle all that for us. Um, I would really like um, not a farm. But it's cheap, so I'll buy it. And you can see over here, we've got a limited number of things. We can have five objects total, but the farm stack, so we actually have double the farm. So when uh, harvest season, which will be autumn, we'll get 64 grain, which we can sell in the market. And of course, we can come in from the house that we've got. Wait, I'm, I'm eager for some, uh, some some world action here in just a moment. I don't see any wars going on yet. Here it is, winter time. Uh, war began. Okay, so we have a war between, it looks like France and um, Pyrenees, France and Navarre. So right in here. Is that Burgund Burgundy and... Right in there? Somewhere in here. Somewhere around. Where's my... Oh, 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 oh right. Done that. Oh, of course. Done this way. Um, so right in here. There's a fight going on. So if we wanted to, we could actually get in on this. So there's no other competitor banks. But if we wanted to, like, mess with a bank, or even better, if we were producing weapons, we could... I didn't mean to do that. We could... Um, Invest some gold into this place for one thing. We could sell them some weapons to help them to help them out. Um, I would like France. I would like to see France fall apart, so we can invest some gold in here. I don't have a lot of money, but I can invest two grand. Okay. Um, by by doing that, they have offered me a cheap fur farm for two grand. Sure, I'll take your farm. Or for the price, basically, they offer me a farm for that. Uh, the that number is is higher. We got five turns until this happens. So as long as that. They win, then I get that property. So it's a good thing for me to be dealing with that. Ideally, we want to be dealing with this um, more because I want to grow up my land this way instead. But um, I think, oh, I think, oh, is this two turns for that? Let's go back into my town and make sure we have anything. Uh, did I already pick up my farm? Any loans that you guys, you guys want to deal with? Uh, there's this one. It's only 2.9% profit per turn. It's a decent chance of defaulting. It's only 800 bucks, though. So I'll issue that. I'll be back in just one turn. So, there's a chance it won't come back. If it doesn't, they'll give me something cheap. Pretty much a million uh, banks. So, yeah, minimum level banks. Okay. War began in the Southern Pyrenees region where you have property. Uh, another war going in. What's that? Aus oh, that's, um, where is that? Over here. That is Prussia and Mazovia. There's a war over there. I don't really care about that. Save some of my, my money. Take a look at this war. Is it still going over? Yeah, it's still going our, our way. Um, ideally, I'm going to keep on coming in here until we get some good investments. I want... A mine is very good. That gives us some iron. It costs me nine grand. I'm going to buy it for sure. Uh, I don't have nine grand. <laughs> okay. Uh, we want it, though. Um, I don't have any luxuries. Uh, I will have furs if this wins. Right now it's not producing because there's a war going on there. If I win it, I'll get it. Um, I want that mine. I think I'm going to sell this. It's going to give me 67 grain next, or each year, which I guess is next year, next season. I'm going to sell it. Maybe not the best thing here, but I want that iron mine, because iron mine means weapons. Weapons mean we can help go to war. Weapons mean lots more money. I'm going to sell this, and then I'm going to go and pick up that iron mine. There we go. Okay. There we go. So our iron mine now is going to be producing me 367 units of iron each turn. That's a lot. Uh, which means, once that happens, we can come in here and start producing weapons. Uh, not upgrade, I want to uh, go to there. We can start making some iron. We can make halberds, we can make swords. Um, we're gonna go, I think halberds are, are better, worth more value value in money and in war effort. Uh, so we're going to start making halberds as soon as we can. And uh, once that happens, we will uh, be able to help, uh, for instance, help the Pyrenees and give them, uh, or help uh, Navari and give them some weapons. Let's see what we got over here. More properties. We've got an animal farm. Furs uh, for 
expensive, but we got it. We can afford it. As long as my number, I don't want to go in debt. If I go in debt, I lose. So, um, color money research is done. Let's go look at... What's that go to? The gift of speech. Each open region produces extra gold per turn. Oh, you know what? I'll just take money. Seems like a thing. Um, that's in ten turns. How's this war looking? It's still in our favor. I can sell them some weapons. Now, I can sell weapons anywhere. But they're in war, which means they will pay a fine price for weapons. I'll pay. These are ten gold apiece for this halberd. If I were to do this in my hometown and sell these weapons away. Uh, if I can find them. Uh, over here. And if I were to sell them, well, uh, I guess they don't want them. Uh, that's not where I do it. Where do I do this? Um, I forget. Is it here? No. I don't remember, but there's a... Somewhere, I sell things. <laughs> uh, hmm, we can sell things here. I don't remember where it is, but we can sell things here. But it's nowhere near the worth of the value. So, um, that's my point. Let's go back over here and sell those weapons in there. I'm gonna, I don't care. They're already going to win the battle, but I'm going to make more money on this. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these things. And there you go. Now they're really going to win. Now I got even more money in there. I've sold my weapons to them. I'm making cash. We're up to 2300 bucks. Um, let's go um, back here. And I want to go back to that. In, wasn't there a loan? There's a level loan here. This one was repaid. So 800 bucks. That's a very good chance of defaulting. Not much money coming back of it, but I'll take it. 800 bucks is cheap. And I'm making uh, a decent profit next turn. I'm making lots of money. Uh, it's a value, and I, I, I we'll see how much we get next turn. There we go. 1500 bucks or so. Mostly it's all coming from that house. Because everything else, like the iron, is getting turned into weapons. And uh, the other thing is just from... Um, influence? Or fear. That's fear. Fear. Alright. Um, let's see here. So when we get this, we're going to get property down there. Uh, how is... Um, let's see here. Can we sell There's only 11 furs there. And 9.1. Can I sell those for more? Yeah, 10 still. So sure. Sell some of those. Why not? Uh, let's go back to the old capital. And... Uh, collect... Oh, oh we uh, they didn't pay up, so we got to go collect our debts. Let's go see what we got. So there's an iron mine for... That's a terrible iron mine, but I'll take it. It's dirt cheap. Probably make... What's like a half an iron piece per, uh, per day. Um, I want to go over here and take a look at, not this one, at my, um, my, my, my thugs. Alright, so we've got the, um, this loan that I offered them. They didn't pay up, so they're saying, okay, um, we're going to give you a, a fur-bearing animal farm then. I'm taking it. Mine. There we go. So now I have a, a, a farm in the process of giving mine. And uh, that'll uh, certainly help out. We got another uh, thousand bucks there. Oh, oh respect, respect. Did I get there? We are. Oh, we can't. We can actually. We can actually ask them to go to war. Let's do that. Um, in a moment. We are producing. I need to. Um, not swords. I should order one sword. Um, as soon as we get some weapons, we're gonna go to war. Uh, Navarre, with our support, is able to smash the forces of uh, France. Uh, territory of the winner. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we still have our farm, which has lots of value. Which means that now, uh, we go to our map. We can see that we have... Well done here. We have got we have property now in Navarre, which is down in the south. In the Pyrenees. We can see that over here. So now when we order things, investments... Uh, well, it's always an island. But we have a... What was that? A luxury farm that they gave us? Yeah, here it is. There's our farm. We're getting free furs from them. Well, not free, but we're getting furs from them. Okay. So, um, let's go and... Are we making some uh, some weapons here? We are, we're still cranking them up. we got 100 halberds available. I want some more cash before we get too far. Before we do a war, we need some cash. They're going to they're gonna want us to give them money, too. Um... Let's just wait a couple turns here. I'll probably just look at what this, what we got here. Uh, more furs. I'll buy them. And we'll do... Um, keep an eye on this. Make sure we're not going to war with anybody. All right, there. Okay. Excellent. Next turn. All right, more property. What's you going to give me? Stonecutter's camp. Sure, I'll take some stone. Why not? Uh, let's go into the exchange here and sell off. 
My stuff will sell just all the civilian goods for some cash. We got 300 halberds now and, a, and one sword. That might be a decent amount. We'll see if... Um, if... We like to go to war with England. So, would you guys like to go to war with England? I want to go to war here with, with, with England, right there. You want 12 grand for this. I don't have 12 grand. But when I do... Um, actually, could I tell you to fight... Hang on, hang on. Let me go back over there. Forget England. What if we were to fight... Brittany. 12 grand. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I can't reach there. What about Scotland? 12 grand! All right. Well, you know what? When I get 12 grand, I'll give it to you. I can probably do it if I sold something. Um, let's wait another turn here. By the way, there is... I think there's... There used to be a turn limit. I haven't seen any mention of it, though, actually, since uh, I started at the time. So maybe there's not a turn limit anymore. It used to be 300 turns until the game was over. Sure, it's, no, I'm not sure it's there anymore. Nope, there it is. 288 until the game's over. Okay. All right, we got 8,000. Now, we could make that cash. Let's see what's in here. Another iron mine, I would certainly buy that. Which puts me up to... Um, that's my new one there. And, uh, yeah, bringing it up, ultimately 7, seven per year. But it's something. And it's something, and it's, and it's money. So, let's go sell off our stuff. Sell off our civilian goods. We got 400 halberds now. We have 12 grand, which we could like sell off a farm. We don't have any farms. Sell off this house, which is worth a lot more money than we paid for it. 17 grand, and then we can go to war. In the interest of, uh, it's making 1,200 bucks a turn though. I can't sell that. All right, next turn. Got some property. Okay, what we got? Uh, another iron mine. I'll take it. And then any loans out here? They have one for a decent chance. It's not a very good profit, but I'll do it. Okay. Um. All right. Let's let's um. I suppose we could sell one of these, like this farm here. This forty furs per turn. We could sell for five grand. Then we can go to war. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want a war. I want to expand my territories. So let's have a chat with good old uh, Ireland. And uh, let's go to war with England. 12 grand. Yes. Okay. So now we don't have much money to, to help them out. But their army clearly is better than ours. However, we can join the war on Eng on uh, Ireland's side. There's no competing banks on their side. But I can go sell them some weapons. I'll sell them everything I got. There we go. There's, uh, that's plenty. Plenty. The Bank of Nook is, is supporting this war. I can invest some gold in here if I want to. Uh, I'll give you, I guess, like a thousand bucks. And they will give me a house for that. Thanks. I'll take a house. Okay. So, um, there we go. Now, in three turns, there'll be the proper war here. Hopefully, we win this fight. And then we will have some new properties. We will gain... We will unite Ireland. That alone just, just makes you happy, doesn't it? Um, lots of things going on here. Uh, Western Army. Yeah, yeah, that's that one. Okay. Um, let's go take a look at this. There is nothing... Did I already do, what? Did I already do that? Or maybe it's nothing available. We might have bought everything. It's a good possibility. Look over here. Um, yeah, there's not much... Yeah, the available investments are pretty lousy now because we've basically bought up everything that we can. And so, um, we've invested 26000 There's only 30000 available in there. So, um, we're pretty much done with what we can do with Western Ireland. But here in a couple turns, we'll be able to go and storm into Eastern Ireland. And, um, make some real money. Uh, nothing there. Alright, so let's just go, um, make sure that's going okay before I... What are we doing here? Yeah, we still got this. We got this one. But in the interest of money... Oh, I don't, have, I don't have any weapons? Oh, okay. The reason why is because whenever we are at war, my industry shuts down. The the, the regions that are at war, my industry... So my, my weapon industry is in iron mines are done for until this war is over. So I will invest a little more gold and see if they'll give me something else. A thousand more bucks. Another uh, oh, a wood farm. Excellent. That's what I want. I've been wanting one of those since the beginning. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, and then that will allow me to make some bows. 
And there we go. We've conquered it now. We now own Eastern Ireland. Uh, the, the war is over for now. Uh, now, they will go to war just on their own sometimes. But, um, and they will fight certain regions. But for now, it's that's all that's going on. Looks like there's something going on over here. Over here. No. Okay. So now that we have Eastern Ireland, we should have some investments available. Yeah, Eastern Ireland has things. Oh, there's one in West, Western also. I can only buy one of these. Oh, Topaz. I'll buy that. Topaz is the things we can sell, luxury items that we can dump off onto the people and make some cash 22 per turn. Uh, I'm going to go make sure we can dump any of this stuff. We're probably not having a lot because everything was locked down while we were fighting. But we'll sell all that. Uh, I'm going to go to my armory. And I'm going to tell you to start making me some bows. Can I tell you? Does that work like that? Four and four? I only have... Maybe? Okay. Yeah, make some of those. There we go. So we're going to get some bows and uh, uh, Howard's getting made. This time we go to war, we can we can go to war much easier. Uh, we can also upgrade our um, our facilities here. Go ahead and quick upgrade that. For 600 bucks. Everything can actually get leveled up. So we can see there's these ones here. So if I want to upgrade my, my armory to work better, I could do that. Now that I'm level 2 headquarters, I can level this up to... With some stone, I can quick upgrade it, and uh, we'll make it even better. It'll work faster, and and will be more, um, well, more better. And uh, let's take a look at the old stats. How are we do? We still in last place? We still are, but um, only by a lot. <laughs> well, you know we're getting there. All right. Anyway, there is Evil Bank Manager. Been on Steam for quite some time, but I'll have uh, links below, and you can check it out. Thanks again, Hamsters Gaming, and I will see you next time.